we want to graph the solution to the system of inequalities. Because the system contains two inequalities, to find the solution to the system, we graph the solution to both inequalities, and the solution to the system is the double shaded region. Let's begin by graphing the solution to y is less than x squared minus six. We begin by graphing the corresponding function y equals x squared minus six. However, because the original inequality symbol is less than, not less than or equal to, we are going to make a dashed parabola or dashed graph. The graph of y equals x squared minus six is the graph of y equals x squared shifted down six units because of the minus six. Also looking at the graphing form of a quadratic function, notice h is zero and k is negative six, which means the vertex is zero comma negative six. And since a is positive or positive one, we know the parabola opens up. So let's go ahead and plot the vertex zero comma negative six. We also know the axis of symmetry is the vertical line passing through the vertex which is the y-axis or the line x equals zero. This will be helpful when making our graph. And now let's find some additional points by making a table of values. We already know when x is zero, y is equal to zero squared minus six or negative six, which gave us the vertex. Let's also select x equals one, two, and three. When x is one, y is equal to one squared minus six, which is negative five. When x is two, y is equal to two squared or four minus six, which is negative two. And when x is three, y is equal to three squared or nine minus six, which is equal to positive three. So one comma negative five is this point here, but there's also a corresponding point on the left side of the axis of symmetry, which is the point negative one comma negative five. Next we have two comma negative two, there's a corresponding point on the left side of the axis of symmetry, which is negative two comma negative two. And we also have three comma three, which is here, and a corresponding point on the left of the axis of symmetry, which is negative three comma three. And now we sketch the parabola, but again remember, it is dashed. And now we need to determine whether we shade above or below the parabola, or inside or outside the parabola. Because we have y is less than x squared minus six, we shade below the vertex or below the parabola or outside the parabola. But just to verify this, let's select a test point. Let's select the origin or zero comma zero, which notice how is inside the parabola. So we substitute zero for x and zero for y back into the original inequality, which gives us zero is less than zero squared minus six, which is zero is less than negative six, which is false. So because this is false or not true, and the test point was inside the parabola, the solution to the quadratic inequality would be the region outside the parabola or below the parabola, which is this region here. And now we need to graph the solution to the linear inequality y is greater than or equal to negative one fourth x plus three. We begin by graphing the linear equation y equals negative one fourth x plus three. Because the inequality symbol is greater than or equal to, or because of the equal part, we do graph a solid line. We'll notice how b is positive three, which means the vertical intercept is zero comma three and m is negative one fourth, and therefore the slope is negative one over positive four. So we begin by plotting the vertical intercept, zero comma three. And now because the slope is negative one fourth, to find additional points from the vertical intercept, we go down one and write four, which we can repeat. To find points on the left of the vertical intercept, because negative one fourth is equivalent to positive one over negative four, we can also go up one and left four from the vertical intercept. So if we go up one and left four, we can also repeat this. Now we make a solid line passing through the points.
and now we determine whether we shade above or below the line. Because we have y is greater than or equal to negative 1 4th x plus 3, we shade above the line, but let's verify this by using a test point. Again, let's select the origin, which is below the line, so we substitute 0 for x and 0 for y into the original inequality, which gives us 0 is greater than or equal to negative 1 4th times 0 plus 3. Simplifying, we have 0 is greater than or equal to positive 3, which is false. So because this is false and the test point is below the line, we shade above the line. And now the solution to the system is the double shaded region or the region shaded twice, which is this region here on the left and this region here on the right. So now we'll shade the solution to the system. So this purple shaded region is the solution to the system, which includes the points on the line in this region and this region because it's a solid line and does not include the points on the parabola in this region and this region because the parabola is dashed. And notice how both of these regions are unbounded. I hope you found this helpful.